we're now going to focus on graphing functions in Excel. So the function we want to think about is right here. Check out those graphics. y equals 2x squared. And we want to be able to graph this function out. So the first thing we want to think about right here is to establish what our exponent is. So here our exponent is going to be just 2. And now we want to set what our x variables are. So I'm just going to start at negative 10, negative 9, negative 8. And I can keep entering these numbers in. But one shortcut I can do is I can highlight just any sequence of two numbers, drag the bottom right of it down, and it'll then just fill it in whatever that pattern is. So I do that, go from negative 10 all the way to 10. Now for my y variable, again, remember, y is equal to 2x squared. So for my y, I want to equal 2 times x, which is going to be the cell just right to the left. So I'm going to click on this cell, and I'm going to use shift 6 or the caret. And now I want to do squared. So I can do put a 2 in right there, which shows 2x times squared. But I actually want to always use this exponent so I can change it quite easily in the future. So I'm going to hit B1. Now 1, and I hit Enter. And so now for y, I have the value of y equals 2x squared when x is equal to negative 10. Now if I were to copy and paste this, I can do copy, paste, but that takes a while. Another way to do this is use the hotkeys. So control C is copy, control V is paste. And I get two, which isn't quite the right answer. Because one thing to note is what I'm copying here is the way Excel works is it takes the cells in it with the respect to a relative position. So this is equal to two times the cell right to the left, which is A4, and then to the power is going to take the cell, which is one, two, three cells above. So if I look at this cell, what I'll notice is it's 2 times A5, which is the X, which I want, but it has B2, 1, 2, 3 cells above. So what I need to do is go back to the original equation, and where I see B1, if I just hit the number, the key F4, that's now going to anchor that term to the cell B1. And if I hit Enter, and now I copy-paste, I get 162, which is the right answer. And if you look at this, you'll notice that it's 2 times A5, which is the x right to the left, raised to the power of B1, which is what I always want. And so now I can control copy, control C, and then control V to paste it. And now I have all of that there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, starting with Y, all of those values. I'm going to go up above to insert. And I'm going to insert a line chart, and there's different kinds. I'm going to focus on these left kinds, and I'll actually want to have one with dots so I can point out the different points. So I enter that, and now I have this right here. And one thing you'll note, though, is that this graph starts where x is 1 and 200. Well, that's not quite right, so I need to change my x-axis. So I right-click on the graph, I go to Select Data, and now here's the box that comes up. So it has here my series, or the y values that I want to plot and make lines, and over here is my horizontal category x axis labels. And so I want to edit this, which brings up this box, and in this box I just want to highlight my x values that I use, and then click OK. And if I click OK, now you'll notice it starts from negative 10 at 200, and that's exactly how I want. All right? And now I want to change this up a little, and maybe change the title of, whoops, I'll even spell graph correctly today if you let me graph, maybe not graph of y equals 2x squared and so now I can see what that looks like okay, so title on the graph so therefore I know what it is but now suppose that rather than the graph of 2x squared, I want this to be the graph of 2x to the 4th. 
Well, all I have to do is because I have this set up as 2 times x to the b1 power, or here in this case the exponent is 2, all I have to do is change this cell to the number 4, and then it graphs everything for me. And it sets everything up there and just automatically updates the graph. I can do this to have the value of 3. And so this is one way in which we can graph out different functions in Excel.